So one question I've actually been asked a few times is if the Bic Crystal, which is a capped pen, is sold in a retractable or click version. And it actually turns out that it is. This is the Bic Crystal Click. It is a clicky pen that follows the basic design of the classic Bic Crystal. This pen I don't believe is sold in the U.S., which is probably why people have asked me about it. Uh, I believe it's typically sold in the U.K. Here it says it's, uh, I believe, made in South Africa. Uh, I don't know why else that would be printed there, but it's not a very common pen, which is strange, right? Was the Bic Crystal is an extremely common pen. It has been since the 60s. So you'd think the Crystal Click would be more available, but it generally isn't. So uh, what's the deal with the Crystal Click? I bought a four pack of it, of them. I guess it cost me maybe $10, $8, something like that with shipping. So uh, on the expensive side, but if I had bought them locally, I'm sure they would be much cheaper than that. It's called the Crystal Click. So it is a crystal. It's not a pen that looks like the crystal. Bic definitely calls it the crystal. It's retractable, as we noted. This is the standard size, so the 1.0 millimeter, the medium. Uh, I tend to prefer the Bic crystal in the 1.6 millimeter. It doesn't seem to be sold in that width. Not too much else to say on the back. It's a ballpoint pen. It's You see it available in a bunch of different languages here, but uh, I'm not sure if it's sold in these regions or what. Uh, but you see, most of these are uh, European languages. So I think it's typically a European pen, but uh, not really sure. And it does say made in South Africa there. Uh, I think most big pens are made in France. So maybe this is a difference. I'm not really sure. Uh, as for the pen itself, it definitely does resemble a Bic crystal. We see it has that same hexagonal shape. The uh, color is clearly blue instead of the uh, clear, or sometimes you see a opaque yellow, something like that, but slightly different there. The cap is different. You see it doesn't have the hole here that you would see from the cap that's removed. A lot of times the cap, removable caps have a hole here so that the uh, cap, if it's swallowed, it doesn't become, uh, clearly it's a choking hazard, but if there's a hole there, it won't obstruct your breathing or a child's breathing or something like that which is why many caps have holes in them. If the cap's not removable, it can't be swallowed, so the hole's not there anymore. The clip is basically the same as we've seen before, that hard, kind of sharp plastic clip. Uh, so that's similar whether you like it or not. Seems unchanged. There is some, uh, looks like there's some texturing down here in order for it to better catch onto your pants pocket or your shirt pocket, what have you. Here is the top there. The hole has been replaced with a kind of a, a nice little angle. So when you push it down, it's more pleasant than that sharp hole. All plastic here. No surprise there. The, the crystal is a plastic pen. The front matter has been changed, as you could see, because the refill is no longer the standard, that B1 style refill, but rather it's a skinny ballpoint refill that has a spring here. I'm not entirely sure how to get at this refill, to be honest. this The back piece doesn't want to come off. And uh, basically, in my attempts to take this apart, I've broken one of these at least. So I didn't want to break it here on the video. Uh, you can try to grab it here and, and pull it. But there are the spring stops there, so it's not really going to work. So this is basically a disposable pen, which is not shocking given that the crystal is such an affordable pen. The crystal, you could pull the, the front piece off. The refill comes right out. So it could definitely be refilled. Uh, it doesn't really seem to be the case here. At least I haven't figured it out yet. This thing doesn't want to twist. In fact, it's a little bit flexy. So you want to be careful what you do with this refill. The click is very soft and quiet. Because there's no metal in here, there's nothing to kind of reverberate or ping. The only metal is that spring, which is actually quite long. You can see the spring is uh, well over an inch long. So that's pretty cool. And uh, there's really not much else to it. It's a Bic crystal from 
basically the uh, area you hold towards the top. So from the grip to the top, the cap is very similar to a Bic crystal cap, except it's fixed in place. And then obviously the front matter has changed to accommodate the different refill. The uh, branding is very limited. You see South Africa here, Bic crystal click in that sort of uh, uh, silver foil embossed, whatever that is. And then there's uh, A22. I'm not really sure what that is over there. Kind of interesting, but who knows? And uh, I believe it's sold in blue and black. I only bought it in the blue because it was uh, had to be imported and all that. As far as it writes, it writes just like a Bic crystal. So this is the crystal click. They do uh, C-L-I-C with no K. So it's that sort of old school Bic ballpoint ink that lasts forever. It kind of has a drag to it, a texture that makes it feel kind of slow and thick, unlike a modern hybrid or ballpoint ink. Uh, but if you are looking for that standard rights anywhere ballpoint experience, this is very much that. Like I said, it's the 1.0 millimeter. That's the medium. Sometimes Bic calls it extra smooth or extra bold or whatever. I think this is the extra smooth. I can never really keep track, but this is the standard blue Bic ink that you have come to expect. Uh, it's not quite as smooth as even like a cheaper competitor like the uh, Pentonic has moved to a much smoother hybrid style ink that's more akin to a Jetstream ink, but Bic has stuck to the standard uh, old school ballpoint ink, which is, uh, I know some people like, and they don't want their crystal to change. And these are uh, really good ones. They do right on any surface, even like a uh, glossy magazine, anything short of glass really. So uh, there's not too much else to say. If you love the Bic crystal, you might like the crystal click. I won't go so far as to say you'll definitely will because I usually get my crystals and I go with the 1.6 millimeter that doesn't seem to be available here. The uh, styling is certainly changed compared to a standard click, uh, standard crystal rather. And then you cannot replace the refill, which is kind of a bummer. If, if and when I get through this entire refill, which will be quite a journey with this pen, I will attempt to take it apart. But for now, I've only got, uh, I guess, three or four of these left. So I'm going to try to enjoy them. So yeah, that's a quick look at the uh, Bic Crystal Click, a fun change on a classic pen.